Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone feeling now? Got enough caffeine in you? You ready for the afternoon? That's it? That's not enough caffeine. Did too many people have so much of the cider and beers that you've now lost some of your energy? Get excited because there's a lot of great presentations coming up. Um, so I work as a mentor for Spark Labs across Korea and Taiwan. And, but in my day job, um, I work with governments, um, including Taipei. Um, I work with technology vendors and enterprise customers on the next wave of technology. So things are on the Internet of Things. So to give you an idea, over the last couple of years, I've looked at well over 1,000 companies in IoT. And in a little secret, they're not all that great. Um, there's some really cool things, but you always want something that wows you. And they're not always out there. So about six months ago, I was in a meeting um, up in Spark Taipei 101 with my friend's company. And she pulls me in and she's like, come on, you got to go meet this guy. And she takes me in to meet our next presenter. And he started explaining what he did in his background. And my eyes started getting really big. And I think my comment was, seriously, you can do that? And um, I was really wowed by it. And it was quite impressive for me because I'm like, this is neat. And literally, as soon as I walked out of the room, I went back to my computer, typed out a bunch of emails to my contacts back in Singapore. I'm like, you got to check this guy out. Um, this, what this company can do is really innovative. So when Edgar asked me to introduce him, I was honored to do it. And I'm not going to tell you about the company because I'm not smart enough. I mean, honestly, the stuff he does is quite amazing and inspirational. So I really got a kick out of this guy. So please, everybody, welcome Ray from Calex. Hello, I'm Ray. I'm the founder and CEO of Calex. At Calex, we explore the power of our materials to deliver smart and customizable sensing solutions. Today, sensitivity, specificity, and durability are the, th are the key three features composing a next generation sensors. They must be sensitive enough to cover large spaces selective enough to be able to recognize distinct compounds in a complex environment, and durable enough to last multiple years. However, when we first came into the space, discovering the world of commercial gas sensing, we found that most use cases still face the same challenges. And this is because some of the sensors are highly sensitive, specific, but lacking durability and some of them are just highly durable. They can meet one or two of the features, but never three of them. At Calix, we have a revolutionary technology that does just that. We provide high-performance sensors for single gases and are introducing a solution for complex aromas. We offer sensor evaluation kit that come with the computer port and tubing connectors. So you can introduce the gas all the way straight into our sensors and then see the sensor response right from your computer monitor. And then from there, the signal will go up and down, reflecting the concentration levels of the gas. This is to help our customers better understand our technology. Here is our core sensor module that meets industry standards for embedded systems. This is suitable for most industrial applications. And this is our fully assembled sensor system with wireless and battery support, ideal for the standalone and network operations. Our Roma analyzer is built using Calix proprietary technology. It can be customized to sense complex gases based on our unique Aroma fingerprint in the AI Aroma library. And here's the technology behind our sensor. Our sensor relies on biomaterials that we engineer to color shift in the presence of a target gas. And the color shift is fully reversible, so which means the sensors can go through thousands of cycles without any performance degradation. We custom engineer biomaterials whose protein receptors bind specifically to the target gas. This allowed us to distinguish similar compounds without any interference. We even use biology to amplify sensor signals, allowing us to make sensors 500 times more sensitive than alternatives. 
This is a technology based on the decade of research at UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, leading to a patent filing of our innovative approach. And Calix has the global exclusive license right of the IP. We are first targeting the whole vertical of industry gas sensing market, which is a $9.5 billion market. And by including the, glo uh, the global market of gas sensors and analyzers, we are looking at a total addressable market of $18.8 .8 billion with a fast growth rate, 11% annual growth rate over the next four years. So sensor networks is not just a vision. This is happening right now. And I'm so thrilled to share with you that we've launched our products two weeks ago at Sensors Expo 2019 in San Jose. Ready to move from pilot trial stage We already moved from pilot and trial stage to mass production of the sensors. And we plan to deploy hundreds of the sensors in the field with current customers. That includes the two largest utility companies in North America for the natural gas leak detection, and the world's largest insurance company for refrigerant leakage monitoring in cold storage warehouses. And our sensors are also being used by the International HVAC System Company for commercial buildings. And on top of this, we have two advanced projects to tackle so-called hybrid problems that the commodity sensor cannot easily compete with us. The first one is to detect biomarkers for consumer health. This is working with the Fortune 100 United States Consumer Goods Company. Another one is for food aroma analysis, working with the largest food and chemical company in Japan. Our business model includes one-time sales of sensor modules and systems, or just the sensor chip itself. This is depending on customers whether they want Calix design units produced by our OEM partners, or they can just license our specialized engineering design and then build the units themselves. We also provide hardware leasing and software substitution model for customers doing smaller scale deployment. To generate recurring revenue, we upsell our premium features in advanced analytics, such as predicting maintenance and risk prioritizations. This combined model ensures easy options, continuous revenue stream. I have a strong team to support this mission. We have 17 full-time employees and three co-founders. Benz and I have been working together on this technology for more than seven years. And Jimmy has more than 20 years' experience in system-level hardware design. Our lead advisor is Peter Shi, the founder and CTO of Ray System, a leading global gas detection company that got acquired by Honeywell back in 2013 for a price of $350 million. We have Dr. Rom Shinoi, who is the former CTO of ConocoPhillips, the world's largest oil and gas service company, and the former advisory board to the US Secretary of Energy. We also have the former CEO of HP and former VP of Oracle on board as our business strategy advisors. So with our huge universe of the receptors, over a trillion entries, we can develop new sensors more quickly and more economically than existing sensing technologies. So we can get into new untapped markets really fast such as agriculture, health and environmental monitoring, or food and beverage quality. These are all billion dollar size market, and we already have plans to penetrate this market in the next five years. We are fully committed to commercializing our phase technology for complex gas sensing and building the world's first AI aroma library. So come join us in our journey to make our world safer and smarter. Thank you.